There is the attitude an African can have and be the best in the world. And that's the attitude that I want to talk about. Attitude is how a person thinks. And how a person thinks is what a person is. Attitude determines your altitude. How you think determines how high you go in life. Attitude, they say, is everything. Studies have proven that attitude determines your success in life more than every other factor. And there are different examples of attitude. There is attitude to God, attitude to work, attitude to yourself, attitude to your neighbor, attitude to life, and everything. And there is this attitude that every African must have to be the best in the world. And that is the attitude I want to talk about. And that attitude is, I can be the best in the world as an African. I can be the greatest in the world as an African. I can be the most successful man in the world as an African. I can be the most successful woman in the world as an African. I can build the greatest organization in the world as an African. I can build the greatest organization in world history as an African. I can head any organization in the world as an African. I can head the IMF as an African. I can head the World Trade Organization as an African. I can head the United Nations as an African. I can build the greatest nation in the whole world as an African. I can build the greatest business in history as an African. I can be the best sportsman in history as an African. I can be the best in any field in the world as an African. There is no reason why I cannot be the best in the world as an African. No slave trade. Europeans, Asians and Americans were enslaved too. No colonization. Americans, Asians and Europeans were colonized too. Not the color of my skin. The color of my skin is not a limitation. The color of my skin is an identification that I am from the lineage of the greatest kings and people in the history of the world. My continent Africa gave the world civilization. Without Africa, the world would have been without civilization. My continent Africa gave the world writing materials. We gave the world science. We gave the world technology. We gave the world engineering. We gave the world religion. We gave the world everything. And history is a continuation of the African story. And there is no history in the world without the African story. I am from the greatest continent in the world. And my continent is not under any cause. And my continent is not under any limitation. Apart from the limitation of colonization and slavery, which we shall break free from and be free. We are a resilient people. Out of colonization, out of slavery, we are waxing strong. We are becoming the best. We are becoming the greatest. We are rising to the stars. The sky is not our limit. The sky is our starting point. We can be the greatest in the world. We have done it in the past. We shall do it again. We shall reach to the skies. We shall build the best. We shall build the greatest nation in the world again. We shall unite again. We shall rise above every limitation in the world as Africans. We can become the best in the world, the greatest innovators, the greatest inventors. We can build the best. We can be the best again in the world. No amount of misinformation, no amount of miseducation, no amount of propaganda can change who we are and who I am. I am an African. I can be the best. We are Africans and we can be the best. We can have the best leadership in the world. We can have the best managers in the world. We are Africans and we can be the greatest in the world. And though for now we are the least in the world, I see we Africans rising again to become the greatest people in the world and the African continent rising again to become the greatest continent in the history of the world and in all the world in the future. We are Africans and we can be the greatest and we shall be the greatest in the world. This is the greatest attitude we must have and become the greatest people in the world. I am African. I will be the best in the world. I am an African. God bless Africa.